Well, there we go. It is not the best view of a leopard we've ever had, and she is very far away, but fortunately for us, she's up in a tree, so we can just see her from our eastern boundary. And uh, it is a leopard we don't see as often as we would like to. It is Tandy, and she's having a snooze in a fallen marula tree at the moment. Uh, how far would you say that it is from us, Brian? 900 meters? Three hundred. Yeah. There we go. She's oh, she's looking at us. Yay! Hello, Madam Tundy. It's Jamie's favourite. Looks like she's got quite a fat belly. Now, no sign of the cub so far. Could be around, but as I said, we're we're quite far away from it. Now, the direction she's looking, there is a herd of impala closer to us. So you never know what's going to happen. She might come visit our, nor our eastern boundary. Prim, just keep coming down Cheetah Cutler until you get my visual. Oh, tired kitty. Now, nice, cool, windy morning like this. It's good for hunting. As I said, it looks like she's quite well fed, but if an unsuspecting impala was to meander towards her, she would definitely attempt. Now, for those of you who might have joined us recently, and we've been seeing quite a lot of Queen Karula, who is the dominant female on Juma. Now, this is Tandy, who's part of her first litter. So this is the first cub that Karula ever raised to adulthood, her and her sister Shadow. Now, Karula is flanked on both sides by her daughters, and to the east is Tandy, and to the west, is shadow. Now that is quite normal for, for leopards. So as a female cub reaches maturity, if there is space, their mother will give them a part of their territory to start off their life in, and uh, she will try move or fight for new territory to give the, the female cubs a good start in life. But we're going to sit here. Hopefully she comes down quickly, quickly to James.